Hi guys, this is Harry Banyas from Zebra Technologies, here to show you a cool mobility DNA app. As experts in the enterprise mobility industry, we understand your pain points. And that means we realise that there's some organisations out there that might have a full lockdown policy, meaning the users only have access to the business line applications that they're using, and they can't really access settings or any of the other functions on that device. So, there might be from time to time where the user needs to easily and quickly pair a peripheral device via Bluetooth. One of those settings could be that NFC is turned off as part of that lockdown policy. However, Bluetooth is available. So how can this easily be done if you don't have access to settings? Well, we have an app called Device Central that allows users to quickly and easily pair those peripheral devices and also get some granular information such as battery life, firmware levels, MAC address details, and this could help if you need to escalate things with support. So with that in mind, let me show you a few examples of how easily this can be set up. Okay, so here's our TC57. So I'll be using this device basically to pair our um, Bluetooth peripheral devices with. So if I go into the um, 57 itself and I'll launch the Device Central app, what I'm gonna do first is grab our uh, printer, it's a, our ZQ320 printer. And you'll see on the back of it, there's um, two um, barcodes. We want a, the Bluetooth one. So I'm gonna use the uh, 57 to scan the, um, the Bluetooth barcode MAC address there. As I do that, you'll see it automatically pairs and it's pretty seamless to the user. Just pairs away and you've got some level of detail information on the actual printer itself. Basic information that is. What I'm gonna do now is show an example of our, um, our ring scanner. So if I grab our latest ring scanner here, which is the um, RS5100, very light, very small, and you can see, you know, I've got sizable hand at least. So very small, I'm scanning the barcode on the actual 5100 there. The 5100 on the sorry 57 and what I'm getting is a number of um, a different statistical information um, from the actual ring scanner itself could be firmware level battery level manufacturing date all that type of information that um, you know could be relevant to your support arm or our support arm I guess if uh, if there are challenges or issues uh, later on the other thing that could be done as well as an option is you can see there's a firmware update and a page button there. If I can click the firmware update button and if it was part of the policy that the firmware was sent down to the 57, I could uh, use that to push the firmware update Bluetooth over to the, um, the 5100. Alternatively, you saw the uh, the page um, there. I could page it if that was, um, if that was also uh, missing somewhere and it, it was Bluetooth, I can connect that. What I'm gonna do now is show you the, um, the warehouse device of uh, our industrial scanner, which is the DS3678. So exactly the same as what I did with the uh, ring scanner there. So I'm scanning the, uh, the Bluetooth barcode address that it appears on the um, 57, and it'll pair, and I can get all the information that I need. Again, similar as, as what we had before, and the most statistical, the most um, the most information that someone wants is generally, you know, what firmware level is on, you know, a scanner of, of such device because it's, you know, out in the field we understand it's pretty hard to get that. So if there's a challenge and you need to upgrade, we can at least easily see at what firmware level is on that um, on that industrial scanner. The other thing that uh, you can do as well, which is interesting, as I said before, on the um, on the mobile printer, at the back, you scan that um, Bluetooth MAC address. So what happens is, if that uh, MAC address or the, the barcode, I guess, is damaged, you can actually key it in. And here's an example of well, just manually keying in the, um, the Bluetooth MAC address into the field and the same thing happens from there. So we've sort of done it a bit of a bulletproof way for you to, you know, either or, you can, um, you can still get that mobile printer uh, paired to the, um, to the 57. 
The other thing as well is if you're locked out of settings, what we've done is give, given um, the user access to the simple and the functional information that could, re, could be required again from uh, support. And that could be what Android OS version is on there, what um, manufacturing date, etc., is on the actual um, TC57 itself. So hopefully that was informative for you and uh, makes your life easy. And as we, um, we release more and more of our uh, Zebra devices, uh, these will be attached to Device Central. So watch this space. Thanks for watching this video.